We recently posted two maps, one on heat risk and one on rising humidity, and you have had some questions. I am going to answer them and help you understand what's up with the Indian climate. Let's talk about humidity first because that's what most of India is feeling right now with all the rains. When you feel like it's 45 degrees, in when in reality is only 35, it is due to something called felt heat, which is a measure of temperature plus humidity and also sometimes how the wind blows and the solar radiation. What high humidity does it, it slows down the cooling mechanisms of our bodies through sweating, so it feels hotter than what the thermometer shows. Our analysis shows that humidity has gone up, especially in places where it didn't used to be this bad before, like the Indo-Dagnetic Plain and Delhi NCR for example. Here we are mapping heat risk, not just how hot it is in these parts. Heat risk is a combination of more than 35 indicators ranging from day and night temperature, relative humidity, building density, green cover and even healthcare access to looking at how exposed and vulnerable people are in this region such as those below 6, above 60 and those with existing health conditions. Yes, Punjab and Jaisalmer do hit 40 degrees uh, more often than what Kerala sees but Kerala is seeing one of the highest increases in hot days and warm nights in the last decade compared to three decades before that as per our analysis. On top of that, Kerala already has high humidity, denser urban clusters and existing health vulnerabilities. So it's not about how much the thermometer shows, but how much the temperature impacts humans. That's exactly what we do here at CW. We track these indicators at a granular level to help India plan better. Got more questions on heat, humidity, flooding or anything climate change? Drop them in the comments and follow us to learn more.